Hi there YouTube and makers and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a bit of a uh, item unboxing for you. Recently I decided to obtain a couple extra tools to help me with the different portions of the build. And here I've got, which I'm very happy and excited to show you, is a set of Starrett 154L parallels and a set of six. So these are adjustable parallels. Now as you can see, this set is missing the one and five sixteenths to one and three quarters. Which, if we look in this package, I believe, Yep, is a at stair 154L complete set of adjustable parallels. So what happened is I ended up buying a, a parcel set here uh, for actually a really good price because the uh, one and five sixteenths to one and three quarters was missing. And then while I was looking for the missing one, waiting for that one to show, waiting to show mail, I found this set for less than what just the replacement parallel costs. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up so that I could get the replacement parallel. Now, the thing is, is it is an adjustable parallel. So what's nice is I'll be able to set the dimensions I need. And so with the adjustable parallel, you can adjust it to a variety of ranges and put the work piece on top of the parallel and clamp it in the vise and, and machine it. Now, there is kind of a debate whether or not you can use two adjustable parallels and you should just use standard fixed solid parallels if you're using two, so one on either side of the workpiece that's being machined. So it's kind of an interesting experiment that I'm curious how to find out myself and see if the two adjustable parallels can be used in that fashion, one on either side of a workpiece. So that being said, I also came across and obtained this, which I cut this open. Should hopefully be in nice condition. Very well packaged, I should say. That's it. And if you can guess, there is kind of a theme going on here. And I believe I got it for a pretty, pretty, uh, competitive price. So, one of the things about reading Kozo's book on the steam locomotive engine is that I have an idea of what to expect. I have an idea of what tools I'm going to need, and, and certain things do cost more than others. And so I'm able to kind of, over the progress of the build, keep a weathered eye out for different tools and pieces of equipment so that when a good price does come along or deal, like on the adjustable parallels, I can kind of pick those up in anticipation of getting to that part of the build in the future. So here, as you can see, stir it in a nice vintage wooden box, is a set of parallels in various sizes. I believe it's a stir it 384. It looked to be in pretty good shape. So an, a non-adjustable or fixed set parallel. They look good. Look nice shape. So that is it. That is the parallel parallels that I'll be showing you here pretty quickly on my channel how I use them and apply them to the build of the Kozo Hiroka 040 layout 
Pennsylvania A3 switcher, steam locomotive engine in three quarter inch scale to run on a 3.5 inch gauge track. So if you're interested in finding your own set of parallels, be sure to check my links below and I'll set up uh, the search engine in terms that I use so you could either find a vintage set of parallels like I have or a new production set of parallels and those links and the search that I use I'll be sure to post below in the comments so check those out so you kind of do your own research see if you could find something for a good price that you need for your own make be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as that bell notification and to share my videos and that bell notification informs you of when uh, new videos are posted and also to like the video if you enjoyed this and the content I bring you and please leave a comment below I'd really enjoy hearing from you that's it for now have fun out there and keep making chips mm -hmm.